What is up, guys? Disco Dracula here, and welcome to another episode of Three Random Horror Games. So, first up, we're going to be playing a game called Deep Fog. Deep Fog has very little info on the Itch.io horror page. Um, this is the first chapter out of five. I think this is currently the only chapter out. And all it says is um, explore the city of fog or something like that. Oh, as you guys saw, this was developed by Devil Beetle Games, who I've actually never heard of before. So this will be my first game that I've played from that developer. So chapter one, dinner. Yeah, see, none of the other ones are currently out. So let's do chapter one. I like this music. For the best gaming experience, please turn on sound or use headphones. Chapter one, playing time is about 15 minutes, no save point in this chapter. Okay. There is news on TV about Fog City. Missing persons cases. The fire in the mountains. Fog City is not calm recently. Hmm. Telephone. It seems to be only used to call supervisor. <laughs> what? What do you mean you can only call the supervisor? There's no buttons on there for you to dial anything else? Today is my second day at work. It's best to check the staff rules again. Fog City Cemetery number four staff rules. Okay, so we work at the cemetery. Nice. This is a cemetery only for unidentified corpses. Hmm. Except corpses with no questions asked. That's a little sketchy. Put it in the coffin, bury coffin, pushing cross into the ground. Only bury the coffin by day and take Lucy on patrol at night. Remember to feed Lucy and treat her well. If you have any questions, call the supervisor. Hmm, I keep that in mind. <laughs> take Lucy to patrol before feed her. Okay, so clearly um, English isn't the first language, so that's totally fine. Take Lucy to patrol before feed her. Okay. So where is Lucy? Can I take this axe? Hmm. What is the uses of firewood? What is the uses of firewood? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what firewood uses. This is the bathroom. I don't want to use the bathroom now. Okay. I guess you can hold it then. A commemorative bronze statue. The inscriptions on the statue were worn away. A gentleman in a hat seems to be the founder of this cemetery. It's a bit scary to see at night. Okay. The gate of the cemetery is locked. I am ready to patrol the cemetery. We got some coffins. Two coffins were already filled. The rules says burying coffins during the day. I heard they were burned to death in mountain fire. Damn. If I don't see the corpse directly, it's not scary. Huh? Coffin cart. Oh, okay. Here's Lucy's doghouse. Lucy! Ah. <laughs> How adorable. Lucy, time to patrol. Chewing the bone. What should I do? Take the bone or pet Lucy? Uh, pet? Come on, what do you think? Pet Lucy. Lucy looks happy. Why must the night guard take care of this stupid dog? I'm sorry. You. I hope our fucking character dies. Fuck this guy. Let's go, Lucy. Let you have dinner after patrol. Lucy puts down the bone. Lucy suddenly feels alarmed. What's wrong? Even if I say you are a stupid dog, there is no need to mad at me. <laughs> okay, Eustace. Stupid dog! Hmm, is there something wrong with the gate? I don't know, I guess let's go check the gate. The gate is still locked. <laughs> Lucy started barking. What happened to Lucy? Let's go find out. Oh! What the hell? Lucy, come over here now. What? What is this? Sniffing around. Might be a body. 
A big bag. It's blood? Lucy is no longer barking. There should be no danger. There's a note on the bag. What should I check first? Let's check the note first. Let me see what's in the note. The note reads, Sorry to bother you so late. To avoid accidents, I have cut off all their heads? Have a nice day! <laughs> At least they're polite. At least they are polite about decapitating people. H and H. This is killing and abandoning bodies! Alright, Captain Obvious. I would never look into the bag. I have to inform. We should call the supervisor first. Alright, I would probably just straight call the police first, but, uh, you know, if, if you want to call the supervisor first, you go for it. It's not like we can dial the police on that phone anyways. It only works for the supervisor. Phone only can be used to call the supervisor. I know, you already told me. Hello? Speak. <laughs> Here is cemetery number four. This is new night patrol, man. I'm just getting ready to patrol. <laughs> when suddenly a big bag of corpses... <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When suddenly a big bag of corpses was thrown in cemetery. Please call the police. Call the police? Why? Because this is killing and abandoning. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why this is so fucking funny. Because this is killing and abandoning bodies. What should I say? Uh, let's tell him about the note. We already told him about the bodies, right? And there is a note on it. Signature is H&H. &H. Yes, how do you know? To be on the safe side, you need to burn these bodies directly, with the wood next to the cabin for tomorrow morning. What? How is the Lucy? <laughs> How is the Lucy? She is fine now. Well, that's okay. Take Lucy on patrol. Bye. He hung up on me. Well... Okay, so do we t do we take her on patrol or do we uh, burn the bodies? What the? It's ridiculous. Come on, Lucy, let's go on patrol. I'd better wait until the morning shift comes. Actually, it means throwing the mess to the morning shift. <laughs> okay, so we're not. We're just gonna leave the bodies there then. So we're not gonna we're not gonna dispose of them. Okay. Whatever you say. Cemetery number four. Hmm? The bag looks fine. But traces around the bag. It looks like a wild animal broke into there. Damn! There's blood everywhere! Lucy, it seems this is your job! <laughs> Who is this? What the fuck is wrong with our character? They don't do anything. There's a whole mess of fucking decapitated heads, and he's like, yeah, we'll just leave it for the morning. You know, no no worries. And now he's like, Lucy, what the fuck? Why do you not know what, what's going on right now? Please, find out. Let's drive away animals from cemetery. Okay, let's do that. There's more blood. Uh, I guess we have to go down. Come on, Lucy. What's this? A stone statue that can be seen everywhere in Fog City. So I guess we're on like a mountain or something, or like the top of a hill. There seems to have specific local belief. Symbolizes life and death, creation and destruction. I am a foreigner and don't know much, but that's unexpectedly suitable in the cemetery. What, <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. The path, the path look alike in the cemetery. To avoid getting lost when I go back, 
I'd better remember the route. Alright. Uh, shit. Let's go down first. What? Am I going the wrong way? Apparently, you're in a dead end, so, I mean, I would assume. Okay, so we'll go up. Hmm. Cat scream. Huh? What happened? It sounds like a cat. Alright, so up and then all the way over. I'm totally not going to remember the path. What's going on? The tombstone was destroyed. It doesn't look like the cause of animals. First someone discard dead body, then someone destroyed the tombstone. No wonder the supervisor has to hire a night patrol. All right, um, yeah, dude, there's no way I'm remembering this pattern. There was blood everywhere. It seems to be animal hair on the ground. Is this a bone? Come, Lucy, let's go ahead to see. What are we about to find? Some of graves were dug, and there was a gruesome stench. Is the source likely an animal? What's that? Who is it? Show yourself. Cat, not bad. <laughs> what does that mean? Cat? I don't understand what you're saying. Who are you? Is that yours? What is mine? Give it to me. If it is fresh, I'll share it with you. Do you want head? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, this game rules. Or legs. What should I choose? Oh, we're going for the head, baby. Head? You. So, generosity. Not many meat on the head. I can give you a leg. How about we just uh, split? Okay. Give me the dog. Let me help you. Tear it off. Monster. You. You want to eat Lucy? Don't be nervous. We'll give your part. Should I hand over? What kind of question is that? No, we're not going to hand over Lucy, you psychotic fuck. Monster, I won't let you eat Lucy. Or just eat you? Lucy is ready to rush forth. Lucy, wait. The monster is too big. Listen carefully. There's an axe next to the cabin. You run faster and get it for me. Does this fucking dog speak English? Yeah, it's, it's like, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Axe, do you know what I'm saying? No, she doesn't, she's a fucking dog. She doesn't understand English. You guys. Dogs can't speak English. <laughs> Disgust. Who can I eat yet? Go, go get the axe. Human flesh. Not bad, too. Fuck, I'm not gonna remember, dude. Ah! I already forget the way to go. I wanna say this one was over more. No. Ooh, shit. Yeah, I definitely didn't go this way. Oh, I'm fucked. No! All 
All right, this is gonna take me a couple of tries. I don't know what... So, after so many times of dying, does it show you the pathway, maybe? Because now it's lit up red. So... Huh, interesting. All right, I hope that doesn't mean like five lives and then game over, because that'll fucking blow. All right, so definitely not this way. All right, uh, fuck. Do I pass this up and go down? Was that right? Okay, I think I'm I think I'm go I am, I'm right. Okay. All right, good. Lucy, you're back. Where's the axe? Have you brought axe? Carry a bone. <laughs> That's what you fucking get, dude, you fucking asshole. Bone? What I wanted was an axe, not a bone. Stupid dog. We're so dead. Look at him fucking hot. Like, he's hiding behind Lucy. Like, Jesus Christ. Dog is here too. Lucy, run. Lucy's cussing up a storm. Lucy looks very angry. Her fucking eyes are like bloodshot red. Lucy? Oh, no way! What? What the hell is this? You're fucking about to get destroyed, dude. Wait, you thought you were the only monster in this cemetery? Come on. No! Stay! Stay away! Ah! Put me down. Oh, shit. Our dude's traumatized. Lucy? Eyes. Eyes didn't change yet. Can you change body freely? What exactly are you? Lucy is just looking at you. Forget it. Thank you for protecting me. How about you apologize for calling her stupid? That'd be nice. You've eaten so much. You still up for dinner? <laughs> okay, awesome. And that was Deep Fog. Chapter one, dinner completed. Um, unlock chapter one card. Huh. Interesting. Hold on a second. Are we in chapter two? Okay, I should prepare the feed for you first. Ooh. Ooh. That kind of scared me. What? Not again. That thing looks a little bit more dangerous than the last one. Okay, never mind. It just fucking exploded. Phew. It seems that cutting the head down is not enough. Isn't it, Lucy? Lucy looks very happy, so dude is obviously her owner who are you did you know Lucy Isn't that your supervisor Lucy come here Lucy leave the city if you don't want to die let's go Lucy and we go to find an old friend huh I mean, I thought that was the supervisor. I I think I should quit my job. <laughs> yeah, dude. Probably should. All right, there we go. That was just like a little uh, epilogue of sorts. So, to be continued. 
All right, support us. Thank you for playing Deep Fog. You can rate or report bugs for us and also use cards as wallpaper. Uh, that's really cool. I like that. That's that's actually a really cool little extra thing that they threw in there. Um, so I'm assuming when the other chapters come out, each chapter will have a card. Um, and then, you know, you can donate producers and cards. Let's go back and we're at the main menu. Okay. Despite me laughing at it, and I was not making fun of it by any means, um, I actually think this was a very well-made game, so far anyways. It was just some of the dialogue came off a little funny to me. Um, but yeah, definitely was not making fun of it. This game was actually um, pretty awesome. I'm excited to see what they do with the other chapters. Um, I like the graphic style. I like the monsters. Um, the story of working in this um, cemetery overnight with like weird shit happening kind of reminds me of a no sleep series called um, tales from the gas station and that story is kind of similar except for it's weird shit happening to this um, gas station attendant and yeah that's a really cool story you should check that out if you haven't and yeah that's about all i have to say um very good game i'm going to be keeping an eye on the future chapters so let's go on to the next game all right, guys, so the next game we're going to be playing for this video is called The Lightkeeper. This was developed by Such Nick over on Itch.io, and I've once again never heard of this developer, so I'm excited to see what this game has in store for us. Um, this one basically just says you take a job as a lightkeeper and you have a partner, uh, and you're there taking care of the lighthouse for a month. And it says, don't go insane. So the story reminds me of the Lighthouse movie that came out um, in 2019 with Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. If I had a stake, I would fuck it. A very good movie, both very good actors, and you should watch it if you haven't. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this one. Obviously, this is PS1 style graphics. Um, I needed to get out of the town for a while, so I decided to take up a job offer as a lightkeeper, which I didn't even know that was a job anymore. I was hoping that I could be alone, but apparently it was mandatory that I had a partner. Reminds me of Spongebob. I guess they can't leave a newcomer to the field all alone in the middle of the ocean. It's going to be a long month. I just hope all goes well. Okay. Press the enter key. Okay. There we are. All right, sweet. There's the lighthouse in the distance. Can hear the horn. I should go turn off that fog horn. All right, is that in the lighthouse? I don't know much about lighthouses. I guess it's on the outside. Oh, duh. Left click to go inside. Here we are. Let's go ahead and hold space. Hold space until the wheel stops. There we go. All right. Kinda like the uh, foghorn. All right, that is a picture of the lighthouse. It looks great. That is also uh... okay. This has to be a direct reference to the lighthouse movie. Okay. Yeah, just checking uh, to tell you that your partner will not be showing up uh, due to uh, the, the weather. So you, you'll be on there uh, until further notice. So I yeah, wanted to tell you that. <laughs> well, that sucks. All right. Which bed's mine? I guess I can take either one, right? Since my partner won't be there. Is that the foghorn? My partner must be here. I should go check. Buddy, clearly you haven't seen enough horror movies. It's... The fuck was that sound? It's locked. Okay. I 
think somebody is here with me. No shit, dude! I think my partner is here. I should radio to check. Okay. That's normal sounds that radios make, right? Somebody is downstairs. Oh, fuck. Should I escape or investigate? Ooh. Well, let's go ahead and uh, investigate. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, fuck. It's dark. Oh, fuck. What? There's blood and a skeleton. More blood. Okay, we got some more blood. You're never alone on this rock. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh! Well, fuck. And he threw my body in the ocean, dude. Damn. Huh. Okay. All right, well, we're gonna jump back in and we're going to try to escape this time, so I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, here we are, so let's go ahead and try to escape this time. Get back to your boat. All right. Are we crawling back to the boat? Oh, there we go. You shift to run before it's too late. All right, we're running. Damn, we're fucking fast, too. Holy shit. All right, we got in the boat. Are we moving? Was that a wave? Huh. What? There's the radio. Okay. So... I guess the fucking island just got, like, completely flooded. I don't know. We got hit by a wave, and then it just flooded the whole entire island. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so that was the Light Keeper. Um, that was a fun little short horror game. It had a couple creepy moments in it, mainly when you go to check the foghorn and you know it's locked, and then you can hear like the scuffling coming from the left, and then the uh, part where the door opened downstairs, and you're like, oh shit, somebody's fucking in here with me. I definitely enjoyed the um, escape ending better than the investigate ending. I thought the investigate ending was. It was, it was fine, but I kind of wish it would have allowed us to explore the tunnel a little bit farther, but I'm not going to complain because it was a short horror game and, you know, it did what it needed to do. I would definitely say this is influenced by the Lighthouse movie. Um, it, it seems pretty obvious to me, which is very cool because the Lighthouse is a great movie and, you know, I, I fucking, I love shit like that. So, yeah. Um, pretty cool game. I enjoyed it. So let's move on to the last game of the video. All right, guys. So the third and final game we are playing for this video is a game called Last Stop Station 66. This was developed by Azaxor or Aza um, Studios. And you guys may remember I played a game about a month ago called Blood Moon Church. Same developer. And I also played another one of their games, but I didn't record it for the channel called Crawler Phobia. So I am familiar with this developer. Um, this is a VHS style, um, found footage style game 
where you're basically, um, you fall asleep on the train. There's 25 stops to this train, but you somehow wake up in a Station 66, and you're wondering what the fuck is going on. So let's go ahead and hit play VHS tape here. I like that. Press escape to pause the game. All right, here we go. June 6th, 1996. This is this guy just walking through the subway filming, I guess. This is this like a uh, snuff tape? Okay. Okay, I was wondering what the fuck that guy's doing. He's literally walking on the fucking... the tracks. Okay, here we go. Now we're in the game. Um, Alright, let's see here. Oh, shit. There we go. Can we talk to people? Hey there. Step back and stay the hell away from me. <laughs> Alright, sorry. I guess I did get kind of close. What do you have to say? I should quit my job. This place is a bloody mess. If I could, I would quit any day now. Yeah, I'm sorry you have to clean up after a bunch of these fucking, you know, littering assholes. All right, what do you have to say for yourself? Ah, fuck! Okay, I guess let's just uh, leave then, right? You can hide in lockers. Do I need to right now? Okay, I guess I don't need to just yet. Damn it, this rusty piece of shit needs a key. All right. Got some doggies. Hey, doggies. What? Oh, shit. I'm gonna be sick. Shit! What the hell is going on? Who did this? Ooh. Dude's hooked straight through the fucking jaw. Alright. Uh, can I take this? Yeah. Okay, cool. A bloody kitchen knife I probably shouldn't touch. Oh, I can't take it. Okay. Well, let's see. Okay, I guess I can go down here now. Oh! <laughs> like, that totally got me. Mr. Anderson, we thought you weren't going to show up. Glad to see you. Please wait a while, and the doctor should be ready to see you. The room is just down the end of the hall. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, I guess let's go... Yeah. Oh, okay. I need to wait. Why did you tell me where the room was if you're not going to let me? Can I sit at least? Yeah. Color, speak your vibe. What flocks your feathers? A honest look into yourself. Hope you had some time to read some magazines. The doctor should be ready to see you now. Head down the hall, thank you. Yeah, well, you see, I'm not done reading the magazines, so you need to, you know, I waited on the fucking doctor, now it's the doctor's turn to wait on me. Rainbow edition. Sweet. Let's look at some other ones. City lights. Uh... Thoughts. Broad raw beauty. The glamour issue. Okay. Crock potting. When is too much food enough food for the family? <laughs> All right. All right. I'm done looking at the magazines. Let's go ahead and go down here. I don't remember which room he said, by the way. I'm assuming maybe it's just this room. Yeah. Good evening, Mr. Anderson. 
I'm sorry, I got a lot of reports to fill in at this moment, but I'm glad you could make it. How have you been holding up? Any new events or failings emerging? To be honest, I've been experiencing my blackouts more frequently lately. I can't remember if I visited my friend earlier today or not. It's like I'm losing my grip on reality. Okay. I see. I'm sorry to hear this. Have you been taking the pills provided and followed your schedule? Are the hallucinations back? I won't lie, I thought this was a dream. I was hit by a train in the subway and chased by disfigured murderers there too. It was horrible. I wanted to report the incident to the police, but I somehow managed to get here for my appointment. Why does he have a drill on the table? I'm sorry to hear this, Mr. Anderson, but I can assure you this right now is no dream. I must say the blackouts and hallucinations are most troublesome to me. As they should be. I want you to stay at home and start treatment, and we will get your, get you back on your schedule. Unless there is more, please visit the receptionist for a new prescription. Thank you. I wish you all the best, Mr. Anderson. All right. Uh, thank you. I hope I, feel, I will feel better soon. Until our next appointment, goodbye. All right. Uh, let's go ahead. Locked? What's going on here? Oh, God. Something's not right. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Talk about a fucking headache. Holy shit. Ooh. Whoa. Is that an eye on the wall? That is. All right. Um, let's just... Uh, okay, the door is locked. Oh, wait, there's a key right there. Shit. Picked up security card. All right. All right. Um. Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh my God. Holy shit. That scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> oh man. Subway killer caught. On June 6th, 1996, a young man suffering from delirious thoughts was found to be the murderer involved in multiple subway murders after police investigated his apartment. He arrived late one night for his appointment at his psychiatrist on June 6th and explained he had fallen asleep in the subway after visiting his friend. He explained how he woke up at a station named Station 66 where two disfigured murderers chased him. He told the police the last thing he remembers is being hit by a train and waking up in the waiting room of the doctor's office. Wow. So I want to say right off of the bat that I enjoyed this game more than crawler phobia and also more than blood moon church um i think progressively like as aza studios or a zaxor or whatever you want to um, refer to them as as they keep releasing games every single one is better than the previous one like i liked blood moon church better than crawler phobia but i like this one better than both um even with this being short, I still thought this was um, a, a just a better made game in general. So yeah, it seems like they're just getting better and better. So I'm excited to see what else they come out with. Um, yeah, all in all, um, pretty cool little short game as well. Uh, the jump scare at the end got me very fucking good. Um, that, was, <laughs> that was a good one. So good job on that, developer. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite of the three games is. And like I always say, if you're not subscribed and you stumbled upon my video here, um, please take a second to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and if you enjoy my other content. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay spooky.